Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel. 10 Gardening Tips You Should Know During the start of pandemic, many of us keep themselves busy through planting. It's a great exercise and relieves us from stress. Gardening is fun and rewarding. What could be nicer than eating food you have grown yourself or eating an evening meal on the patio surrounded by the fragrance of scented plants you have grown? It can be hard to know when and how to start a garden, but we're here to guide you through the process. 1. Get to know your garden site. Before you start, it's a good idea to get to know your garden. Check the aspect, is it south-facing or north-facing? Knowing where the sun hits the ground will help you decide what to grow where. It's also worth knowing what soil type you have. Take a look at what's growing. Camellias, magnolias and pyrus will tell you the soil is acidic, while absence of these suggests a more alkaline soil. Doing a soil test will further help you know your soil, and therefore what plants you can grow. 2. Plan what kind plants do you want to plant. Sitting down and planning your garden is a great starting point. This way you can work out what to grow where, rather than getting carried away at the garden center and ending up with a jumble of plants that don't look good together and might not suit your growing conditions. Planning will also enable you to use color and structure wisely, which will help you create a garden that looks great throughout the year. Also you must consider market of the plants you want to plant especially when you plan to sell your products later. 3. Prepare your garden site. Planting your plants properly will ensure they grow well and live for a long time. Make sure you take time to weed and prepare the soil before planting, and add mulch or fertilizer where necessary. If you're unsure how to plant something, look online for instructions rather than just hoping for the best. Trees planted too deeply will never thrive, and root balls that sit proud of the soil surface will dry out quickly, leading to the eventual death of the plant. 4. Water plants regularly. Knowing when and how to water plants is the difference between them living and dying. As a general rule, water the root ball rather than the leaves, as it's the roots that absorb the water. Soaking the root ball every week is better than watering a little bit every day. Adding fertilizers is also important, do it once in a week. 5. If you are a beginner, start small. When starting a new veg patch or allotment, it can be tempting to take it all on in one go. It's much better to do a little bit at a time. You can easily cover areas you don't want to cultivate with cardboard or black plastic, to stop weeds growing, while you work on a different area. 6. Keep an eye on pest. Most garden pests don't do much harm to plants and can be left alone. There are plenty of natural predators that will keep them in check. However, sometimes pest populations can become an infestation, and you need to act. Keeping an eye out for increasing numbers of pests like aphids, slugs and snails, will help keep your plants safe, and save you a lot of heartache. 7. Make use of compost. Composting kitchen and garden waste is good for the environment, wildlife, your person also your garden. Let the waste break down for a year and then use it as a mulch around the base of plants in your garden and veg patch. 8. Don't be afraid to prune. Don't be afraid to get rid of unfruitful branches and matured leaves, it only absorbs nutrients that fruiting branches needs. Pruning plants can seem like a daunting job, but if you learn how to do the job properly, you'll be rewarded with plants that look good, grow well, and they're likely to flower and fruit better, too. The key to successful pruning is to know when to prune, and follow guidance on how to make the cuts and shape the plant. 9. Be kind to wildlife. Many of those new to gardening see wildlife as the enemy. Insects and their larvae defoliate plants, birds eat our fruit and mice nibble our pea and bean seeds. But wildlife can be useful in the garden, too. Birds eat a variety of garden pests, including slugs and snails, aphids and caterpillars. Bees pollinate our food crops. A garden wouldn't be half as enjoyable without its wildlife, from frogs and toads, to hedgehogs, bees, butterflies and birds. Creating habitats for them and learning to share your garden with them, is the key to enjoying your space. 10. Enjoy your garden. Gardening is the best exercise to strengthen your bones. Don't forget to enjoy your garden. Make sure you take time to sit back and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Create a seating area where you can sit and read or eat with friends and family. Plant borders you can enjoy from a window, and hang bird feeders so you can watch their antics. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Your support is appreciated.